Do you know who started the slapping of their shoulders before the first lockup of a match? And why don't you see it so much anymore? Um, I don't know who started it. I have no idea. Um, and I don't think anybody else would either. Cause it's one of those things that just started happening. And generally when something like that happens, it's because, um, a big name or a main event guy kind of has a habit that does, that he does that people, when they get in the business or they are around him, they see him making money. And, and so they try to do everything he does that type of thing. That's what pretty much all mannerisms in wrestling evolved from. Um, and you probably don't see it much anymore because goddamn half the matches I see anymore. They don't fucking start with a lockup of uh, it, 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 that kind of that kind of thing, you know, like that was it was an old like, hey, this is going to be kind of combat and tough and we're going to fight and wrestle and things like that. And nobody's taking that attitude anymore. They don't start the match off like a. There was a retweet of a lockup in one of the classic uh, uh, Japanese matches with Anoki and Jack Briscoe. Yes. In the early 70s. And that lockup and it was not only so snug, but then so quick that uh, was it Briscoe took the head or was it Anoki took the head? Briscoe I can't even remember. Head. Briscoe took the headlock in just in a instant, just a millisecond. He spun him and snatched that headlock and it looked so stiff and so violent. And that's the way, and it got hundreds of retweets because all the wrestlers, all the old time wrestlers uh, were retweeting it saying, Hey, look, a lockup done right. We haven't seen one in so long. This is, this is what it's supposed to look like kids. And as soon as I tweeted that, of course, some, some asshole fucking writes, well, the, the, you had knock everything that the young people do, they can lock up or whatever the fuck You're missing the whole point of the thing. It looked completely different than anything you see today and half ma half the matches, especially probably independence. They just, I don't know how, I, I don't really know how you'd start a match hardly without a lockup, but they managed to do it a bunch of times. It just doesn't make any sense. When I was a kid watching, I thought the slapping of the shoulders was some kind of signal. No, it's 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 just one, it's one of those it's one of those ticks. You know, it's it's uh, I I don't know how to explain it, but if you've been around the boys or in wrestling training schools or whatever, it's one of those ticks that people do that they've picked up from watching other guys in the ring that they admired that had those same ticks. <laughs> 